Well, our good friend Robbie Koenig was watching the other day, and he just loved the reverse Ask Andy question when we stumped Mr. Roddick on his record against French Open finalists. Andy Roddick is just so bloody funny, said Robbie. And then he likely threw in an, oh, stop it! But we couldn't agree more with the substance of what Robbie was saying. He is so bloody funny, and uh, so we welcome his funniness to the show on this Friday. Andy, you always had a, a quick wit with the reporters and the chair umpires. Did you ever imagine it would be uh, so useful in a professional way? <laughs> no, I've, I've never had to uh, actually talk tennis uh, in a media format with someone who I actually enjoyed this much. So this has been a this has been a real r real game changer for me. This has been amazing. Well, Andy, you know, Robbie's a really good guy. I'm curious, though, what do you look for in a broadcaster, commentator? Do you have any broadcasters, writers that you have really strong feelings about? Apart from me, but strong feelings about whether you like them or hate them? No, I, I, I think the only thing that, that oh, bothers Jesus. me sometimes You're supposed to say Brett. Oh, Jesus. You're supposed to say Brett. Oh, so the Brett <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> the, the only thing that bothers me sometimes is when people act like it was like it, it's always been easy for them, right? So the, that's the early, only real time I get frustrated at home is uh, when you talk about you know a, a player who's seven the world and just because they're playing Rafa, you talk about them like they're not that good. So um, it, it's always been hard for all of us, and you know I, I'd I'd like to think if I ever uh, did live matches or, or, or anyone who does live matches should always treat it with the respect it deserves. And tennis is a really hard game, and I, 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 I just always want that to be represented. Uh, so speaking about how hard it is for everybody, Andy, we did uh, the crack research team did a little bit of work just to show how difficult it was uh, for playing the big three. And take a look at some of these uh, numbers with the bagels that they have received in all of these matches. Talk about hard to beat, uh, to beat players. How about beating them with a the bagel? F only 15 for Rapa, 10 for Novak. Four for Roger. I think you got, did you get Rafa early in the 2000s somewhere, a bagel somewhere? Yes. I, I, well, I would have taken actually lower than these numbers. Um, I, I think I did beat Rafa at 6 0. I think he was seven years old at the time, and I was two. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure how much uh, pride I can like statistic, but. Uh, not surprising. I mean, you know, it, it, these guys are so good, and I, I'd like to see the, the the reverse number of how many times they they've bageled people. I promise you, I was on the receiving end way more. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, how about you? Do you know what your number is? Do you know how many times you've gotten bageled? Oh God, I just I mean, I, my 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 uh, my little mind can't even count that high, Paul. I have no clue. I, I I can look at each one of those guys, and I think I got bageled by Roger. I definitely got bageled by, by Rafa numerous times. Um, I don't know that I got bageled by Novak, but look that's at, only look at the screen. Look at the screen, Andy. Oh, I can't even see it. Oh. <laughs> tilt tilt six, it up. There you go. Six that's times. better. Got it. Sorry. Six so times. My, my, makeshift, well, my <laughs> makeshift screen, I have a rock in front of it, so it's holding it, so I couldn't see the graphic <laughs> on the bottom of the screen. Nice. So, okay. I'm a broadcasting pro after 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, six times that at 2007 sets is pretty darn impressive. I'll tell you what. Um, you know, one of the things that you talked about uh, and I've heard you talk about is just the ability to go from a good player to a great player. And you've always been so good um, with all your philanthropic stuff, your foundation, everything else, and the speaking stuff. Has that always been easy for you? It looked easy here. No, I, I, not at all. Gosh, that's from a long time ago. My, my mom is there on, on the ride as we're looking uh, at the screen. Um, honestly, I, I, I fear speaking in public. Like, this is easy because it's banter. It's just a conversation and it's it's fun and it's with friends. But like actually like a stump speech in front of a mic is I, I, I don't enjoy it. It's 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 hard. Um, I, as you see, I have <laughs> I have four pages of notes there in case I get lost. Um, but you know the foundation has has been uh, has been fun, and you you obviously want to get up there. And I've I've learned not to be too detailed with the notes, and, and just kind of uh, uh, tell a story, and and, and uh, you know, and, and kind of talk about what you're feeling. And uh, luckily, it comes out okay sometimes. Yeah, well, the speaking sometimes is the easiest part. We got one for you. I'm just wondering if you 
remember, it's not just speaking that's challenging. Guys, you got something to show Andy here that makes it show how difficult it is to speak? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Where, where Best reaction that? ever. <laughs> Best reaction ever. Yeah. <laughs> That There's was great. No cool way it, so the, the tripping is one thing. Back to back clips of a super wide collar underneath the suit is the most embarrassing part of these clips. Like, I can deal with tripping, I can deal with bad haircuts, I can deal with what my former hairline used to look like. Uh, the, 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 the wide collar, though, is, is that was a choice. <laughs> it's just stuff that happened to me. <laughs> I shouldn't feel bad about that. I had the same collar stuff going during the Travolta era, so I, I did the same thing. Saturday Night yes, Fever. That's, that's a deep V. And I could never trip that gracefully either. That was awesome. And the great rebound with the verbiage afterwards, no yeah. way to make this cool. The, the <laughs> weird thing is that I had, to, I had a hamstring injury that I got right there. Um, I was able to play through, uh, <laughs> I was able to play through but it cost me uh, time and money. <laughs> an amazing reaction though Andy afterwards and to just play it off I mean not many people could have done that in the moment so kudos to you but I have a, another video I want you to take a look at some fancy footwork going on I think this is oh. pretty impressive but as you look at this I mean is it real or not real yeah real. that's real because the rhythm works the like that that's absolutely real this is this is super impressive I like the full yeah. jersey. You weren't you weren't taking this seriously. I mean, this is like a. I mean, this is a real effort. Yeah, because there, there was you a go. Of that means you were actually doing it, and it was probably one take because you actually filmed them as two. I respect this. Doesn't really have anything to do with tennis, but we're you know five weeks in. That's that's what it's come to. It's still very <laughs> impressive, and we we tip our caps to that guy.